Yeah, uh, my name is Sylvia Perez and um, I live in Los Angeles and I am 30 years old. Um, and yes, I was uh, fasting for six days. Mm, six days, that's intense. Did you, yes. uh, did, you ever, did you ever fast it before? No, first time. Wow, the first time you did six days? That's a little, yes. little intense. So it was. Yeah, was it very hard? It was hard. Um, but during my fasting, I stayed in the temple and I was meditating, which kind of also helped me with the process. Mm. So what, uh, interested you to be, uh, to be there to fast? I wanted, uh, I guess, purify myself or, um, just have a positive experience. I wanted to get out of, you know, the temptation outside. So that's why I started going to a temple and I wanted to meditate to, for my brain, I guess, to be stronger or my thoughts. Mm, I heard that you're a Catholic, so that's very interesting. So yes. you're Catholic, but you're very open-minded to try the Buddhist method? Yes. Why is that? Uh, my aunt goes a lot. So I've seen a lot of positive things in her life, which it, it encouraged me to. to, so to do, you, do, you, do you feel like she has changed since she started going to the temple? I, I, I've seen that positive. Oh, positive. wow. Like, would you give me a little, uh, little, um, how do I say, the change that you observe from her? Um, I've seen uh, her ways of talking to people. Um, she's a lot more calm. Mm. Uh, I've seen also like, in a way that she's more strong in like, if people tell her things, she knows how to absorb it and not kind of like, not fighting. rejecting or not fighting. She doesn't get afflicted by many things so lately. I've seen her like in a positive way, more calm as well, a lot more calm. Oh, so and not not like before. It's different. It's different. I mean, she has always been like to me someone to look up to, but something different as in she's more calmer, more peace, like at peace and lovable. I mean, I love her regardless. I wonder. I wonder if she knows we talk about her behind. <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually, I, you know, I don't know if she told you, but I know her since because she was coming to temple while I was in America. I think oh. I met her and I was a lay, lay person before I become a nun. Oh, okay. Because I, I saw her pretty quite long, like oh, years back or so. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of interaction with her, but I, I know she's been uh, doing a lot of meditation too. So that's wonderful. Yeah. So yes. well, today, this interview is not about her, it's about you, right? <laughs> yes, about so, me. <laughs> right before we, inter we start the interview, you share that you don't yet do a lot of sitting meditation, but you did the six day water fasting and then you had a, like a particular, a, a specific experience while you uh, were going through this process, right? About yes. the door thing. So let me pull yes. out the photo so people can take a look. Hold on. So, okay, so this is the photo that I got from you, right? Yes. Would you please tell me what this is about? So this is the outside of my uh, house uh -huh. and that's the doorknob right there where you're pointing at. Mm. And those, that window with those bars is the only thing that was open. Mm. Um, my keys were inside the house. So mm. there was no, that's a little- uh, Oh, this is know, the inside, right? So. So this one, this one here, right here was open, but this was locked. Yes. So um, I got that little plastic toy stick, my son's stick, uh -huh. and put it through that window. But since there's bars, there was no way I can look at the doorknob or how to open it. I was like just trying to aim it and, and hopefully, you know, open it. But uh, there was no way of me able to reach or even to even see where the doorknob was at because the bars um, were every I can't look inside I was just guessing um so no, I hold, was, on, hold on so so the story is you went to the your own you went to the house and then you realized you left the key inside and then yeah. you don't know where it was or you you cannot locate it it was locked no. yes and then you cannot and, get into the house 
Mm, yes, I couldn't get into the house. Okay, so so what did you do? I was at the beginning. I was frustrated mm. because I was hungry. <laughs> I had just been- <laughs> you were just finishing your fasting, right? Yes. Yeah, so I was uh, recovering. So I was going to the temple uh, to go eat with Master and my aunt and the rest of the nuns there too. But um, I was getting frustrated because I had left the keys and there was no way of you know going inside. So. After that, um, I got that plastic stick and I, I put I stick it in through that window, the bars, um, trying to, you know, guess where the doorknob on the other side, inside, on the inside was. Um, I was trying it for maybe three, four times. I, I, there was no way I couldn't guess where the doorknob was at. So then I just closed my eyes and I started reciting uh, Namo Amitofo three times. What but, is that? Namo Amitofo for Catholic. <laughs> That's the first, um, when I go uh, to the temple with my aunt, uh, when I was uh, fasting, she will tell me about it and to, you know, vow and, you know, uh, recite his name. And, you know, she, she's the one who, who gave me, you know, the name. I, I was not aware for a Catholic. I didn't know. So I remember. So earlier, earlier, can you tell me, so you recited really concentrated. And then yeah. earlier before the interview, what you said was very interesting to me because you said you were really, really concentrated and then you recite three times and you couldn't hear anything. That's what you said? Yes, I couldn't hear nothing. My, my, keep in mind, my son was uh, next to me um, calling me so, Mama Silvia because he called me Mama Sil- Silvia. That mm. means Mama Silvia. Um, and I completely... Con- I was so much in concentration that I, I couldn't hear that anymore. I was in so much peace where I was. <laughs> you, you may be very desperate to eat something. <laughs> that was so that concentrated. Was- <laughs> very that interesting. Was- so I recited three times. And once I finished reciting, I remember uh, with the same stick I was trying earlier, um, I did it. And the second time I did it, after reciting, I heard the the something click, like turn, like click. I was so much, you know, like I can hear nothing around me and I just heard the click noise. When I heard that, I'm like, oh my God, the door is open. And I take the stick. I, even I, I don't stick. know, from this I, photograph, the angle, it looks impossible. <laughs> I mean, the bar, look at this, it's pretty far itself. away too. Yeah. The bar itself, it blocks it. Hi. So there's no way I of me. Of me trying to open, you know, the door. I'm Hi. sorry, my son is here with me. Oh, so you couldn't <laughs> even hear him. Well, he sounds pretty loud. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, there was, there's no way with those bars to open the, the, the. I mean, to even see where the doorknob is at. So you just uh, concentrated, but somehow you just put sticks. The put the sticks in, stick in, and then it just opened. Yes. I was so surprised myself but then again like I was so much like I was calm but when I heard that noise I got the stick out and I put it on I kind of just threw it to the table because there's this table right next to um the 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 outside, well, on the outside and I, I opened the door and I knew it was open already because I heard that noise the clicking noise mm. and I'm open and I opened it and it, I went inside I got my keys and I was I was feeling like so surprised um I did you were my- you were surprised but calm at the same time that's yes. what you're saying and even I, I even thought to myself he's taking care of me wow. <laughs> he, he knew I see, had see, this is a proof Amitabha Buddha likes Catholics too <laughs> yes <laughs> of course <laughs> yes so, so I'm very uh, happy to hear you your story um i'm uh, glad that you have a very good experience um maybe we can do another video next time if you have any other experience of meditation or fasting because uh this this interview is about that particular incident and i'm very thank- thankful that you take your time to come to the interview okay, okay. so I'll, I'll unload this video and share the link with you okay okay thank you so much too thank you do you have any questions no Oh, by the way, if you want to do the sitting meditation, uh, I also have an online class that you can join us. Yeah, uh, send me the link and uh, I'll try it.